Hey guys, Mike O'Keefe here, Multiple Idiots, Episode 9, our loudest episode yet. Lainey Leonard's from It's Lainey and Friendship is in the studio. We have a very nice chat. We have a very good time. Uh, we talk about a lot of different things. We get off the rails immediately and then get back on the rails and then get off the rails. It's a, it's a here and there of the rails. There's rails. There's no rails. We talk about other kinds of rails. It's a very good episode, and I think you're going to really enjoy it. Uh, rate and review us on iTunes. Follow me on all the social medias at the Mike O'Keefe. Let's get into it. <laughs> Everybody, episode nine, episode nine of Multiple Idiots. I'm here. I'm Mike O'Keefe. How's it going? Uh, Michigan uh, legalized marijuana uh, this past week, uh, and so I took a little, a little hit of Mary Jane today <laughs> before recording. I had a little poof, a little poof of marijuana, <laughs> the devil's lettuce. So. Um, in order to celebrate. And so if I seem a little uh, extra spacey and like there's a ball of yarn and I'm a cat and I'm, it's, that's why. Uh, anyway, my old pal, Lady Leonard's is here. How's it going, buddy? Good. You should have told me I could have brought you a jazz cigarette. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I'm not even that high, but what if the no, whole episode was just you being like, and then women in comedy, and I'm just like, ha, pa, 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 pa. <laughs> they're little like a leprechaun. <laughs> I can't do that. What I don't, I can't, I don't know. I feel like there's if some accents just, I can do, but I don't know what. What do accents I do? do you do well? Well, abs- I mean. Uh, the old one that you Minnesota. lost. Minnesota. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the old one that I lost. Yeah. yeah. The one that did you I, left up I, in the Twin Cities. Did I sound that way? Everybody, I mean, I still do, kind of. For the for the for the audience, uh, the listener, I lived in Minneapolis for one calendar year. Mm-hmm. I moved there for the worst reason you could move to a new city, which is a goil. Uh, it didn't work out, and now I'm back in Chicago. But during that year, uh, I befriended Lainey. Uh, we would hang out almost. We were befriend. We were. Be- we were <laughs> We, we became B friends. It's like betrothed B but leather, with friendship. B level friends. No. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, though, yeah. I was I was probably a lot less you, mean than the other people. So we were pretty oh, tight. Oh, totally. We yeah, were pretty yeah. tight. We were cool. We, we yeah. uh, there was a couple nights where we would go to uh, uh, the Monday Night Comedy Show, yeah. which is uh, a staple of the Minneapolis comedy mm-hmm. scene, and then we would go to uh, the worst. The, the best, biggest lounge. The best worst karaoke bar in the history mm, of singing mm-hmm. or bars. Yeah. We would we would get deep. We got, well, we, we got, got, let's put it this way. We got, first of all, hammered. Shit house drunk. Just <laughs> clocked. I don't know what it is about Mondays and me, but I'm always getting drunk on a really? Monday. <laughs> well, the thing about that specific situation, <laughs> yeah. though, is that the Monday night comedy show, they poured the drinks like triple, and then there's also like... I don't know. So I don't know stupid. if we have to cut the. But then there's also just like people around doing coke. Oh yeah, and it's then a very. It's a very. It's definitely a scene. Yeah, and you're you know? in a basement, and nobody's yeah. watching you except for the bartender who's wearing a kilt. Yeah, Sh- big shouts to Josh, who Josh. has a picture of me peeing Killing in it. Mexico. Well, it would be like. He does. I, ah, I, peed, I, I, I went I to a festival in Mexico. Josh was there. I remember that. And I got very drunk. I, the only, the first and last time I will ever do a uh, rowdy powder. Uh, I, <laughs> Wait, <laughs> the that's first time like you? Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, first time I ever did Colombian Bam Bam. You, and the last probably. That you have, yeah. that's what, you're the only person who ever makes fun of me for that. Oh yeah. I forgot about this. Oh yeah. But, the, first, well, the, the first night I met Lainey was in Kohl's in, here in Chicago. Yeah. Lainey was visiting from mm-hmm. Minneapolis. I still lived in Minneapolis. And Lainey, and I, I knew, I'm, I'm, I have a lot of friends in Minneapolis. It's a great, I'm going to CCU this weekend. I go twice awesome, a year. Awesome. I fucking, I love it up there. Uh, comedy wise. Uh, the weather and everything else about it, not my favorite. Uh, but the comedy scene is amazing. So I, I, Lainey's like, oh, I'm mm-hmm. from Minneapolis. I know these people. I'm like, I know these people. Ah, ah. We, have a, we have a nice chat. Well, and uh, what happened on my yeah. end is oh, that yeah, I yeah. did. Okay, so I am visiting Chicago. <laughs> I'm Lil Laney. So I was like, what? I don't know. You're how like old 20, were you? I was I, like 20. 24, 25, something 20, like that. 
Yeah, yeah. So like, tw- I was probably 23, 24 because it was re- like right before I moved there. Yeah. And it was my first time. I was in the big city and they were, everybody was like, this is the <laughs> mic that's a big mic. Like Hannibal Burr's wait here and Cameron Esposito ran it. And like, yeah. this is a tradition. And then there's all these people here. And so like, I know these people are going to be popping up. But I was visiting a college friend. Well, just like, you it's, know, well, yeah, everybody will be milling you, around. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yada, it's yada. a big hangout. And yeah. I think almost every guest I've had in here that I met in Chicago was like, yeah, remember when we met at Coles? Like, it was yeah. just like, it's hipster cheers. It's just. It is. Yeah. It is. No That's a good way of putting there. it. Yeah. And, and it's in a department store in the suburbs. It's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can get khakis on can, discount. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Don't so, forget your Coles cash. <laughs> Quick plug there for That's when the you good just take off your Kohl's shirt yeah. <laughs> at that bar. Of yeah, this is my Kohl's cash, and then you like. That's wave your also the around. place to get a fedora. When you, whenever Kohl's you see a thirteen-year-old kid who's probably in the marching band in a fedora and like a Rick and Morty T-shirt, that's a Kohl's boy right oh, there. Man, I have a question about fedoras, but we got, I gotta finish this story because okay. otherwise <laughs> I get okay. So no, just, also, that's the that's actually the theme of the podcast is that we uh, just keep talking in circles. And okay, never because that's the anything. theme of my thing, but I think awesome. there's a risk. <laughs> I think that's the theme of podcast. <laughs> so it yeah, is, yeah. but sometimes Aaron has to stop me because I've gotten too far because I do it, my podcast by myself. Oof. I've started getting into it's like. I'll start thinking about something and I'm doing like a rant and then I'll, I'll start getting too far into it. And then I'll start talking about what's depressing about it. And then I'll verbalize my own thoughts and then it'll get so depressing that Aaron's like, okay, we got to cut. So, (laughs) and then I'm like, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Anyway, (laughs) you know, I specifically (laughs) request that Aaron cut nothing yet. There's, after each episode, there's eight things I beg him to cut. <laughs> That's how it works. Like, Aaron, you don't cut anything. And then as soon as it cuts, like, I'm going to need you He's gotta cut to a lot bleep of every <laughs> proper noun I said. <laughs> <laughs> Including my own name. Including my own name. I don't like it. Uh, this is multiple bleepiots with bleep, oh bleep. <laughs> This is the show. <laughs> and I'm bleepy bleepers. I'm bleepy bleeper. <laughs> I'm bleepy blenerts. And <laughs> I, so I was visiting Chicago and I was visiting a college friend and I was like, I'll get some sets in and then I'll, you know, so I was kind of. Do the damn thing. I was young. I was wilding out in the city with my, I was wilding out. And you were wilding out hosted by Nick Cannon in the city. Yeah. Oh, you know, I got the end. And, uh, <laughs> and, um. So I was hanging out with my friend. We were getting rowdy. I was like, ooh, well, she'll take me to this open mic. I'll do it. And then we'll go back out and hang, whatever. You know, it was back when I was young. I was carefree. It was a different yeah. time. Just get to the point where you do coke, Thank dummy. Thank you. Okay, 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 okay. So I showed up. I had had, and that friend, I had not done it before, but that friend did cocaine. And Which is a f- weird thing that is apparently popular in Chicago. I don't uh, know why. People but, are. Like, people love they it. They love it. They love they it. They love it. It is everywhere. And it is like, I mean where is any... the Vicodin? <laughs> like, yeah. can I have yeah. a Xanax, please? But so, okay. So here's what happened. I had, we had gone out. I had had like a, like, exactly. I had, I, I had gone out. I had had like a full pitcher of margaritas with this friend. <laughs> and then we went back to her house and she was like, oh, we're, we were going to go to this thing. And she was like, well, just have a little key bump. And I was like. Already, I had had a full pitcher of margaritas. Yeah. I was like, all right. You're, and you're, that's because it's also a lot. like I'm going to do this uh, yeah, that's uh, a lot. show. So, like, ooh, it'll, it'll, it'll quicken really, me up. It'll, yeah, make you sharp. It'll, well, and to be, I mean, to be fair, it's like it will speed up your metabolism, right? 100%. Like, that's like the whole point of it. Right. Yeah. Which is not a good idea for me. But anyway, so then I go to this open mic, but I'm just blasted. <laughs> and I remember going up to the guy who's running it and being like, probably Burke. It, no, or it was Kenny um, Witzkel. Witzkel. Yeah. yeah. And I was like. Shouts to Ken. He listens. Probably. I don't know if he does. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, I don't know why I have to keep telling you things. Okay. Why do you know? I've told you everything. Uh, anyway. Yeah, okay. Just, okay. Just, Kenny's a nice man. <laughs> don't, put, well, don't put that on that. Well, you know what? Who cares? He's a nice man. He's a big fan of The Office. He loves it. <laughs> We had to stop watching it because it got too racist. Anyway, (laughs) but that was recently. Okay. It's uh, It's been been off the air for four years now. Well, I was watching it with my... With my dude. Oh, we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, anyway. to, but, okay, okay, okay. But basically, so I showed up. Yeah. I was hammered. Not my usual thing. Yeah. But I was like, listen. I think I went up to him and I was like, listen. I'm in I'm from not u- out of town. No, I said I'm in from out of town. I am not usually this drunk. And I was like being real weird. But anyway, yeah, I went I'm up. I'm not usually. Sir, I'm not usually in this state of inebriation. I was like that, but I was also like, yeah. you know. <laughs> but, okay, yeah. so long story short, in case this is something that we can use. <laughs> 
I had a f- full pitcher of margaritas and, and a key gum. bump, which was a surprise. Yeah. I went, I did the set. And when I did the set, what I did, this is what I remember, is that I was like, oh, just do the hits. But what I started doing was I got real aggressive and I was pointing at everybody in the room. I was like, I'm visiting. I would make out with everybody in this fucking you room. Did. I would make out with you. I would make out with you. I wouldn't make out with you. You look like shit. I would make out with you yeah. if you lost the beard, which I think is what I said That's to you. That's what you said to me. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't know him. And then after the set, and I was just like. I look weird with a beard, by the way. Well, I, don't like I it was, all. you know, to be fair, my uh, judgment was inhibited. So, <laughs> and then I got off the stage and I had been just turned the fuck up and I was yeah. like, well, that was weird, but you whatever. Got real amped. And, and it was one of those yeah. things where afterwards you're like, you kind of have an out of body experience where you kind of feel yourself vibrating. You're just like, uh, <laughs> Well, and Mike uh, came up and we were chatting and he was being real cool, real nice. We were having a good chat. And then what I remember is that you comedy said. Comedy geography, which is what I liked it. When you go, oh, you're from there. You know, there's mm-hmm. people. Yeah. But and you, I, said, I said, you said something specific to I me. Know, and I, remember I know exactly what I said. What I said, I said you're, uh, you, uh, you told me you've been doing it for however many, however amount of time. I go, that's great, man. You got, you got, you got jokes. You got jokes. Oh, that's right. You and then what jokes, was it that dude? I said? Because she, I think. And I, you go, of course I have jokes. I didn't say it like that, though. <laughs> yeah. I said it yeah. like he's he said like, you got jokes <laughs> i said something along the lines of of course i have jokes who the fuck do you think i am and it I was, was something like, like that it was I, like i got real I, mad and real then quick. i said something along the lines of i i don't know who you are we just met and then i probably said something yeah. like that's fair what the fuck do you think you're saying to me i was, was real amped up but yeah, also you, you were, were being very reasonable and I was just like well whatever well have a good one <laughs> just walk away but then i but then i meet laney again and she says a very nice thing which is, I'm sorry, I did cocaine for the first time the last time we met. And that is how cocaine Leonard's <laughs> came into my life. <laughs> And cocaine into mine. Yeah. <laughs> and Silly. It's, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, it's a. Every time he saw me, he'd be like, here's old, old cocaine Leonard. Cocaine Leonard. Which was a yeah. weird thing because I was like, oh my God, don't tell them. <laughs> if I keep, do- if I did that again, it would be, oh my God, just a. Uh, I'm too much already. Boy, oh boy, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> that's part of the reason why I don't. I try to do things that'll just level me out. Amen. Because I, uh, oof, oh boy. I, I tried I've, it a couple times, did not care for it. It just makes me much. yelly. And I, I'm already top yelling. <laughs> <laughs> like, how much yellier yeah. can you get without your soul leaking I, I, out of your butthole, you know? <laughs> like... I I peed in a very nice Mexican villa just right on the floor, so I I don't do it anymore either. I don't, I don't. It's just, it's too much. You know what? I- and I'm going. Here's the thing, though. I'm yeah. thinking about trying it again because we, me and my old lady, Mal Uri. <laughs> What's up, marijuana? <laughs> we're going. Hello, we're, Mal, we're going friend. to Colombia next year. Oh, we're taking a trip Columbia. to Colombia, the home of cocaine. Mm-hmm. Um, claro, claro. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, claro que sí. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Entonces. I do two voices now. <laughs> mm. Oh, I could do that. Hola. How about Ooh. that? <laughs> Como estás hoy día? <laughs> Mine seemed playful. Yours seems racist. Uh, no, because <laughs> no, I can. Yours seems. We're b- okay. How about this? We're yeah. both racist. Yeah. No, I'll take that one. none of us. Well, we're trying. We we're need learning. to check we're our, developing. We need to check our privilege and check it fast. <laughs> But, How much uh, do you have to pay? I don't know. It's, Check your privilege. Uh, it's at least twenty five. Do you get oh, it back at the end of the flight? I mean, here's the thing: if we're on Spirit, that's going to be fifty. If we're on, a you just carry it on though, and you make eye contact and look at them like, "What?" Oh my god! I, I flew I've Spirit never down paid to, for a bag I of Spirit. Flew Spirit down to Mexico. <laughs> How, how'd that go? Oh, it was the worst. How cheap was it? Oh, it was really cheap. Fuck yeah. It's it was one like of the only things. to Cancun yeah. from Detroit. It's fucking stupid. Spirit Airlines is one of the yeah. only things where the amount cheap it is justifies the amount yeah. shitty it is. Oh, totally. Where you're like, I get this. The like cost benefit analysis. Embrace the suck. Like it's yeah, embrace sure. the suck. Embrace yeah, the that's that what was... I always tell the men I'm dating. Because... <laughs> Speaking of men, <laughs> there was something, there was a joke I wanted, there was like three different jokes and instead I just made a noise. <laughs> 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 uh-huh. Almost 10 years in comedy and still sometimes just like, <laughs> right? Uh-huh. Come on. Uh, well, this new gentleman you're dating and he's got abs and he plays the trumpet. Uh, and he <laughs> loves being in Less Than Jake. It's his favorite thing in the world that he's in the super What is that? Ska, is that a movie? It's a, it's a ska a band from band? the late 90s. <laughs> uh, but your mom, you, you've talked about your mom and your acting. It's very rare 
that a comedian talks about their mother in a positive way. Really? I guess I love that's it. true. I love it. It's great. You're oh, great. Aaron's saying you're on the right track. Here's I love the, where you're going with this, Here's the thing buddy. about Aaron is that he, he is very expressive, and he's always in the room when we do these. But he, he wants to communicate, but he doesn't want to be on microphone. Yes. Which is, uh, oh, what a, conundrum. He's, <laughs> what a conundrum. You know what I do, though? I make him turn around. Do you really? I do. Yes. It's a oh, you huge make him, thing. Oh, I make wow. him turn around so I can only see the back of his head. And he'll still go um, like this sometimes. And then sometimes I'll say, okay, Aaron, and I'll give him a very specific question. Yeah. And like on a scale of one to ten, what do you think of this? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Also, we should we should mention Laney hosts a podcast called it's called it's Laney it's Laney it's Laney it's cocaine it's, it's Laney cocaine yeah <laughs> you can at, still have your face share, to us in this show. I'll act normal it's because the reason why yeah. we share he, a studio and mm-hmm. we have the same producer and Laney hooked me up with Aaron and we thank her for uh, for that Namaste. and by we I mean. Just me. Thank you very much. Indeed. Appreciate that. Well, the reason yeah. is when I do my podcast, I'm the only one talking. Crazy. So it's easy an, how for you, me. How do you do that? <laughs> and I, you know, I think I, it's I a disorder. That, <laughs> and I asked that saying full well that you have not stopped talking since we started this episode. <laughs> but Nor have that's you. why I had you on. <laughs> that's why I had you on. That's the show. That's great. This is it's something I'm working on. Yeah. The, pers- the person yeah. that I'm seeing is trying to tutor me so that yeah. I can stop talking over people and screaming. I, I love the idea that as soon as he thinks you're talking too much, he just goes <laughs> He was also in the military. Oh, yes, sir. No, sir. He plays the trumpet there. He plays the trumpet for the military? <laughs> Watch out, ISIS. <laughs> we, got a, we got a bugle gonna, boy coming at you. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's gonna... Oh, good for him. What, what, what branch of the military? What's it called? Fucking, he's in the National Reserve now. What does that mean? Oh, he was it's probably in, in the Army. National yeah, Guard? Yeah, that one. Army, great. Yeah, my dad was in the Army for 27 years. Great. Good for them. Good. That's awesome. Yeah, I, he was a reservist for many of that. I have not been um, fucking your dad. Uh, cool. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Uh, oh that my was weird. God. That was a weird I would, I would love for you to, oh my God, if you fucked my dad, that would be hilarious to me. Bone out, old man O'Keefe. Oh my God, Johnny O. <laughs> Rinky, wrinkly, fucking seventy-eight-year-old Johnny O. Really have a good sense of humor about it. Oh yeah, I think you would. <laughs> I think you would. <laughs> Just are you in, are you interested in a man with no? discernible ass <laughs> just no just <laughs> i mean just been no there ass. i will yeah. say that yeah <laughs> i will say that i've seen it i'm used yeah. to it how yeah. about that i say most of your midwestern fellas assless mm-hmm. most of your assless. midwestern white guys no ass yeah no i'm ass. i'm i was i'm i thought i was assless what happened? It was sad. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what what changed your mind about this? You know, there was an accident. And, an accident. Uh, I fell into this tank of acid. Did you shit and your pants? Yeah. Is that you what you're know I about? did. I mean, you've oh. heard my story. But Listen, okay. cocaine Leonard's. It's tough not to shit your pants when you do enough I Colombian only shit my bam pants bam. Sober. Thank you very much. <laughs> I did talk about that a lot on my podcast this week. But anyway. You gotta do it sometimes. Um, I get it. What was I totally get it? Now I forgot the question. What made you change your mind that you had an ass? Oh, people told me, (laughs) but the thing is, I have like a, my butt's like flat, right? Okay. It's not like a hot, cool, like shape of a butt, you know? (laughs) Okay. You know, like. When you see a butt and it's like, I think. It goes out. And I'm. I'm Convex, baby. Exactly. As opposed to concave, the the John O'Keefe model. Mm -hmm. Uh, (laughs) And I am a, I'm a buttsman myself. Indeed. You go. A buttsman. It, it, it's a nice, it's a nice, like a C, you know? Mm-hmm. Some people don't have that. Mm, many people. Many people. We are. Yes, many people. And my sisters used to tell me that my butt looks like my mom's butt. Which, awesome. What a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> but they would be like, yeah, it's like a pancake. Like when you bend over, there's just like nothing there. I, that was my mean sister. And I was like, yeah. because we were just sitting there having a nice day. And she was like, yeah, you're <laughs> basically she was like, your butt's horrible. It doesn't look like anything. And every and it's disgusting. And I was like, why would you bring that That's up? That's crazy. Also, like I've got a gigantic top portion. So let's not be harping. Top on the portion. part that I yeah. know I got to... Let's look at this glass half full. Right? The, the top half. Exactly. Uh, I only drink out of the top of the glass anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, But here's what happened. I okay. have a flat butt and I was worried about it. Also, I like the idea that your sister at your wedding or something is like, Lainey has... She's just like our mother. She has our mother's grace, our mother's 
composure, our mother's ass. <laughs> I think that'd be funny if she said that. Anyway, I think so on. too, but no. none of us have the grace or the composure. So it would be different things. It would be like, she has our mother's crippling ADD <laughs> as well as her aggressive anxiety disorder. And her butt looks like you could serve tea off of it, you know? Like, if she was laying down. She's not laying the cool down. way. Not the cool, not yeah, not the cool shelf not butt the kind awesome of thing. Way, not yeah. the awesome way. Exactly. Not, not the awesome way. Totally awesome way. Do you think maybe that's what, okay. I'm thinking now maybe that's why I look at women's butts so much. But okay. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) But then I realized, okay, this is weird. But then I realized this is just the friendship we have. (laughs) Me and the bro, me and O'Keefe. We're doing it. We're killing it. We're learning things about one another. Bro, Keith. Yeah, bro, Keith. Hey, what's up? Oh, man. Now I'm going to bring up a thing that's inappropriate. You remember that time you looked at my boobs? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I brought that up. It's no, okay. but it was pretty funny though because we were at the Vegas Lounge. Yeah. And we were hammered and we were having a good old time. Yeah. And then but you were just talking, you were saying regular stuff and I was like, Are you staring at my boobs right now? And I think and you I just were like, went, Yeah. I think you went, Ah, yeah. yeah I'm and I sorry. went, Buddy. <laughs> yeah, you did. And I went, Buddy, yeah. I get it, man. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's, Gentleman's accord. It's biology. He was just kind of like, ah. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He did say something along the lines of, you're my friend. We're good buddies. Yeah, we're pals. I'm sorry about yeah, that. We're, and I was we're like, cool. I was like, that's fair. They look real good. I get it, man. Thank you for the respect. Thank no you for problem. the respect. No I know that you respect me. How, shi- <laughs> how shitty would it have been if you would have, if you would have been like, are you looking at my boobs? And I would have been like, oh no, I'm fucking, uh. like that would have been so awkward and terrible. But if you I just, guess. If- we were both you know, yeah, we were drinking and talking about careers. I think, yeah. like, we were just shooting the shit for sure. <laughs> Which is when it's it's funny when that happens, though, because it's like there are some people who you're friends with, and you know, we both just kind of got distracted. It's like you know, they it's not like rude. It's just like we both got hammered, and you forgot about boobs for a second. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> you forgot about social norms, right? But yeah. then I also remembered boobs, and I was like, mm, they're really good. Anyway, man. Anyway. I don't know if that's weird. I'll put that in the speech. Okay, so the speech yeah, I won't. No, I go. won't. I won't. Uh, we should talk about weddings because I just yeah. came from one, and that's the that's part of the whole Damn. deal. Uh, shots to uh, they're, if they made it this far, I, I way to go. But tomorrow and Sam, congratulations, beautiful ceremony. If they made it. Uh, th- this if they made it this far in the podcast, not in their marriage. Oh, their I think you meant if they're fine. not already divorced from no. what two days ago, a day like how long? Yesterday, yesterday, they've been married for about twenty four hours. Ah, oh, they're done. Yeah, <laughs> they fizzled out. Yeah, uh, but, they've had their fun. Uh, lovely ceremony, great. Uh, the a thing we've talked about the last couple episodes is what song you don't want to hear at the wedding. I heard mm-hmm. two of them. And uh, gems. Uh, I should tell you, this is a, an entirely Jewish wedding. Uh, I think I was one of four non-Jews there, which is, uh, I get it. You know, it's <laughs> it's like their social circle. Everyone from their synagogue came. Uh-huh. Like I, I, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, wh- <laughs> I get it. The f- the band played uh, the theme song to the Jeffersons. <laughs> <laughs> How does that song yeah. go? Fish don't fry in the kitchen. What? Beans don't burn up. We're moving on up, moving on up to okay, the so east side. Those are not the notes, right? Probably not. <laughs> but I feel like I'm moving on up sounds up. familiar. Moving I, on up. I can't move, do it. Yeah. <laughs> you just they, kind moving of spoken on up. word. Uh, moving. Would it be like, is it kind of like, move and uh, up? Uh. No, it's like, that's the rhythm of it. <laughs> that's the melody. Yeah. It's not okay, those notes, but that's definitely the melody. I got you. I got you. Uh, so, yeah. And it was a very weird thing because there was a, mo- a moment where everyone was like, yeah. what? What is happening? <laughs> And then they they then they were like, oh, let's just keep having fun. And then they just started dancing to a TV theme song. Insanity. That's <laughs> what crazy. Did, the moment where they paused and thought, "What is happening?" Did their faces have distress or like curiosity? It's like when you when you hear a, a sound and you don't know if it's a police car or the ice cream truck. Mm. They're like, this is... was and it... then they decided it was the ice cream truck. So I think that's I think that's pretty Ooh. cool. Did Follow it look these, like they uh, smelled a? F- Fart. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And then, yeah. Because I'm seeing yeah. your face and I'm. That's, I mean, that's, uh, that's a lot. You got to of... deal with it and then you just think it's natural. Yeah. And you move on. It's natural. That's my body telling me to eat less of, anyway. Or is the... your body telling you, great job on the pizza, buddy? Totally. We're, we're working on it. Speaking of, I had all my favorite Detroit eats. Oh my God. Which what I, was... are they? I had Giordano's yesterday. Oh, there you go. That's, that's a good. fun Chicago eat. It is. 
The only thing I missed, I didn't get Buddy's Pizza, but I got Coney's at Lafayette. What What are these things? Coney Dog. It's a hot dog. Okay. Use uh, hopefully a Kowalski sausage, uh, mm. chili, onions, mustard. It's great. It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. They were invented uh, to feed the auto workers, um, get them amped up for the second half of their day. Uh, because Henry Ford <laughs> used to say, "If if you don't have diarrhea, are you really working?" <laughs> Was one of the I was gonna say, yeah. get them amped it's up to like crazy. take shit for nap. the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> they'd, they'd have about three beers with it and say, yeah. "All right, let's get back yeah. to the line." Like- <laughs> get back to crap in your pants. <laughs> uh, and then I had a sweet. <laughs> we took a, yeah. a short reprieve. Yeah, but, but we've got to get back into it, man. Big, big, All right, big, hey, yeah. hey, Mike, you want to go grab a dog real quick so we can get our sphincters <laughs> back synced up? You know, gotta loosen them up. Yeah. <laughs> If that's how you know you're healthy if it's still coming out. Oh, my God. <laughs> the snapback on my brown eye is just crazy. Uh, uh, and then I had wings at Sweetwater, which is the best wings in the world. Shouts mm. to Sweetwater Tavern. I think Bones they listen. In. Bones in, of course. Got I'm it, not eating it. fucking chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. You would probably, I would eat a chicken nugget, but it's a separate thing. It's a separate thing. Yeah. I'm in a different mood. But the other song <laughs> they played that was crazy, they did like a whole 90s rap medley which is very cool, a very great idea. But one of the songs in there was OPP by Naughty by Nature. Are you, are you familiar with OPP? Other People's Pussy, right? Yes! If I'm not mistaken. The worst song to play at a wedding. Shouts to, shouts to Tretch, one of the most underrated MCs of all time. Uh, he's he's listening. He's a fan. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Good. I want him to hear about my ass. 50. <laughs> he'll put on that bulletproof vest he used to rap in. And he'll come. Lay me down and have a cup yeah, of tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah. if you're gonna do a naughty by nature song and you want to just be a have a fun thing, hip hop array, you dumb assholes. Anyway, uh, they were a great band and I thought they were lovely. Uh, what do I call pussy? Because uh, I feel like pussy. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Honestly, I, mean, I, I don't have a name for it. I'm not. <laughs> well, yeah. This isn't I a morning think... zoo. It's just, <laughs> it's just, it's I guess. It's I guess Drew what I. Mike. <laughs> This isn't Kelly, Dave, and Chuck the Freak. These are Detroit morning shows from (laughs) yesteryear. I guess because perhaps for me it's different because, well, and but also for everybody. Like when you're telling a joke that you call it one thing, and then when in your personal life it's like, do you call it the same thing or do you call it a different thing? Yeah. But and there's some crossover, but it depends because some words are funny. I think the word "pussy" is pretty funny. Yeah, but some people don't like it. I, yeah, I guess some people really don't like it. Is it why don't they like? Because I've it's stopped using colloquial. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you what I don't like. I've stopped using pussy to mean like a coward or mm-hmm. a scaredy cat. I think that's dumb. Mm-hmm. I don't like that. So I've stopped doing yeah, that. Yeah, that's when I call somebody a bitch. Yeah, I call him a big old bitch. <laughs> Which also is like problematic. I call him a big but old bitch. I yeah. do. But I came last week to my show wearing a shirt that I made for myself that <laughs> said "bitch." I ironed the letters on, but I. I'm a bitch. I'm a t-shirt. What's up, sir? <laughs> uh, I like the word bitch, though, and not everybody does, which I'm, is the same with pussy. Uh, yeah, I get it. I, I, bitch is a weird one for me. I don't like calling a lady. I try not to use mm-hmm. gender-specific put-downs mm-hmm. for women. Uh, I just call them all, I call everyone like dickhead. pal. Yeah, I call everyone shithead. You shit pal. <laughs> oh, pal, buddy. Buddy. Dude, everyone's a dude to me. Although I will say, there's something about it for some reason that I find real funny. So like if, I, and I don't know. So like if you were to say, you're just being a big old, if it was you, you'd go, you're being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. It's a great impression. Something about it, I find it so funny. I don't know why, yeah, but anyway. Be a big old bitch. Yeah, my name, I'm Mike O'Keefe. Hey. That's what I got. What Pretty, do I what do I sound like? It's like it's like I'm talking into a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> what do I and sound then like, it's Mike? Useless. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Lennart is here. That's pretty good. Yeah. You gave me a little Lady bit of a Lorax vibe. Oh, you're you're uh you're Patty Lapone to me. <laughs> You're like she's a very oh. famous musical theater actress from yes, and she's yeah. very dramatic and Which big. Which one is she? Uh I'll she's in Evita, right? That was her big I love musical theater, but oh. I don't know anything about it. That's something the kids at home don't know. Yeah, she's in Avita. Yeah, she played Eva Peron in Avita. Ah. Um, speaking of going to see musicals, uh, play Indeed. my bachelor party, jerk. <laughs> Thank you, sir. 
<laughs> Thank you, bitch. <laughs> Let's do it. Big O. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm a bit. I'm a, okay. I didn't have anything. Um, okay. Let me ask this question. Are there, what parameters do I have to stay within? Are there any? No. Just make it something that Money? is like physically possible. <laughs> we can't go to space for this thing. All right, so that's I a can't, parameter. We, can't, we okay. can't fly around. Okay. All right, then let Okay, here's how. Here's no what I would travel. do. Okay, so let's Scared see. Imagine your <laughs> Mal, because the first thing I would I'm probably Mal. your Mal. Okay. So tell me what do. How, what does she sound like? Hey. Uh, <laughs> Stop bullying me. <laughs> oh, that's a beautiful. She'll say that to me. Then, she says no, that kidding, on a daily basis. <laughs> Stop Even, bullying. but like about nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. Do you think they're gonna I'm bully me? I, oh, I don't know. Probably. She's so, cute. She's so sweet. <laughs> do you think they're gonna bully me? Do you think they're gonna bully me? Oh, yeah. If you keep talking like that, you yeah, like idiot. a narc, <laughs> like a doofus. <laughs> Sorry, such a friggin' dork, man. <laughs> You're just with such a cool jock. I, I do. Th <laughs> I do think calling women dorks is hilarious to me. Yeah, I've been I think calling everybody funny. narc. Yeah. It is. I've been calling everybody narc. Oh hell yeah, that's it's a good, a good one. one. That's it's a good, good one because it's like you're not you're not even just a dork. You're also like a little bitch about it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Sorry, I keep saying bitch. Okay, for sure. So here's also, what I uh, very, very quickly, on the, and mm -hmm. then we'll get to this mm -hmm. uh, on the subject of cool things to call people on the new Tenacious D album, which is very fun. It's a concept album. I'm seeing them on Tuesday. Uh, I couldn't be more excited. Uh, Jack Black calls Donald Trump Jr. a fucking turd whistle. <laughs> and uh, boy, oh boy. That's it's a good, good time. It's a good time. Anyway, go on. Bachelor party. Oh, what man. Okay. I'm going to somebody that knows you well to be like, would the would he love this or would he hate this? Right? Okay. So, well, actually, first thing I'm going to ask is like, what people need to be there? So if I went to yeah. Mal okay. and I was like, who's top of the guest list? Who's got to be here? What are we doing? I'm not going to let him near you. Nobody's going to bully you. Who am I bringing to this bachelor party? Also, let That's me just smart. say, That's I am wearing smart. a very, th oh, thank you. I'm a woman. And um, <laughs> I'm going to wear like a like a three-piece suit with my, I'm going to smush my boobs. I'm going to dress real uh, butch. Okay. Because I'm coming to the party. In this, I'm coming to the party. Honestly, if I was going to throw you a good one, I wouldn't come. <laughs> Because I think that's I would. my favorite answer yet. <laughs> well, yeah. I was like, mm, what am I gonna do? Not be there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna not be there. It's a bachelor party. <laughs> yeah. What what activity are we doing though? Okay. Well, okay. So oh. I go to Mal and I'm like, who has to come? Yeah. Like, how many people am I dealing with here? That's called twelve. Twelve. Okay. 12. Let's say twelve. Twelve. She, lady, uh, have the notes show. Lady just wrote down twelve. <laughs> wrote it down for this for this 12 incredibly thought out men. Out. Question mark? <laughs> okay. I think How my many? buddy Meg from college would probably be invited. Okay, cool. Try cool, and set cool. her up with one of these gentlemen. Uh, what? Yeah. Try and set Meg up with someone. So you want her at your bachelor party? I don't know. That'd be a cool meet cute, meet cute though. All right, I'll keep it in mind. I'll keep it in mind. Put Meg option for Meg. Mark. I put it in parentheses. <laughs> Meg, cool. Shout to Meg Lalon, friend of the podcast. Great. Shout friend out. of the house. Okay. She's not friends with so, Aaron, but she's a friend of my, okay, first two on, things sorry. I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about, okay, I'm just going to pretend that we have money in this. <laughs> we have so much. We have it unlimited funds. It would be super funds. cool, though, if I pour, uh, planned a poverty bachelor party. Okay, but no, 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 no. If you okay. want to do one where we're so, very rich and one where we're homeless people, <clears throat> go for that it. That would probably take a while yeah. because I will talk much. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> first, I'm going to get, okay, so let's just go with this. All right, let's set the stage. All right, we got 12 dudes. We got Mike O'Keefe. What is that, a baker's dozen, a donk? That's what I like to hear. Okay, so 13. That's, I don't know why you're looking like that. Doesn't it make sense? It does. You eat them up like donuts. Yum, yum, yum. Sweet, tasty. Not much substance. Okay. So this is why I wouldn't be at the bachelor party. Yeah. Because I keep bringing up eating dongs. They'd be like, listen, did you see that late? Yeah, lady? Yeah. <laughs> She's a good listener. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I listened to her too. You see her tits? <laughs> okay. She okay. called me and I said yes, and she was just cool. She's great. We love her. <laughs> she just said, get me a whiskey. <laughs> Where's the blow? Uh, which to be, okay, okay. All right. So first thing I'm thinking about is food. TBH, yeah. honest, yes. First thing I'm thinking about is food. What do we want? Do we want burgers? Do we want pizza? Do we want hot dogs? Like what's fancy? Ooh, do we want Italian beef? Should we have Italian beef 
Is that too much for the beginning? Maybe. I don't know. But you're well, about to be the drinking. The whole thing is that these are supposed to be your decisions to make. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> See, but this All is- of a sudden, I have to plan my own thing. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I'm just trying to choose your favorite thing. Okay, so let me do it. I'll guess. This is, okay. I'm sorry. I'm all amped up. I took my Ritalin before I came. Whatever. Okay. It's my favorite thing. I'm supposed to plan my bachelor party? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll do something and I'll figure Never it out. Never has such a simple question been skirted around so much. That's why it takes us so long to I love it. record my podcast. I love it so much. Yeah, but to be fair, it's so, it's this a good party time. would be way better. Yeah, for sure. So what do, what do you got? I guess. Okay, here's what we would do. Ooh. Okay. Enjoy this. Okay. <laughs> this burst of silence, listeners. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fair. Uh, you're true. And your aim is true, young soldier. Uh, yeah, shots to Elvis Costello. He listens as well. Okay. I love you, him. Okay. I love so, him, you too. I love, <laughs> I love us, we. Okay. So... The first thing I have in my head is we're going to have food, we're going to have drinks, and we're going to blow some shit up, right? Okay, so we're cool. going to have fireworks, fireworks but it. we're going to blow up like TVs and shit or oh, whatever great. we can find, like cool shit, love right? It. Doesn't this that sound is, dope? This is perfect. Right. This is great. Excellent. This is great. I would love to see that. That'd be awesome. Perfect. So we're blowing shit up, we're and then we're and we're drinking, and we're going, woo! Like that. Awesome. Do it again. Hit us with another one. Because <laughs> Okay, TV blows up. Woo! Yeah! yeah! Yeah, yeah, My yeah, yeah, so big yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I explode everything with Commitment. fire. <laughs> so you get the t- testosterone <laughs> pumping. You're feeling good. You're feeling yeah. wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here yeah, we go. Yeah, here we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's here's what. Ooh. And then okay. So you're having some beers. You're blowing some shit up. And then ooh, how about ooh. this? Then I feel like the next step is some real nice whiskey. Okay. Real cool. nice whiskey. All right. I don't know. And then and you I'll figure it out. You we got a whiskey guy. To, yeah, real nice whiskey. I love a good whiskey. And then it's your choice. You get and then you're, you're smoking. So I don't know what you want to smoke. You can have, you know, cigars. You can have um, marijuana. Fat cock. A bit, yeah, you what? can smoke. smoke <laughs> All right. Well, you suggested it. I asked for your input. And there it is. Uh, okay. So then we're gonna have some whiskey. We're gonna have some uh, whatever your pleasure is. If it's cigars, if it's weed, if it's some people have cigarettes, or if you don't want to smoke anything, then can you I tell have you a some, secret. Yeah. Cigars suck. I, I, I think figured it might suck. not be your style. I think they suck. Would you enjoy a nice token sip? Yeah, I'll do a token sip. That sounds good. But like somebody. I do. Yeah, like I got, ooh, you know what That's I would That's the get? name of my uh, Lord of the Rings drinking group, token by the way. Token sip? <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have, but here's what I would get. I did this for um, my previous boyfriend. I got these solid gold rolling papers. Oh, wow. Yeah, and they're just, huh. they're they're not you know, super expensive. It's just like, it's a little paper, you know, so you get a couple of them and, but you could get like, um, wraps or like papers or whatever. So yeah. anyway, if you're having a nice ass whiskey, like a real, maybe like a bonfire, whatever, sm- and then having a like a, and then you're having your fancy gold marijuana, enjoying yeah. yourself. And then we're ready to take mushrooms and see Cirque du Soleil. Hell yes. And <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right? That's what we needed. Right. That's the jam right there. I don't, that's lovely. I don't do mushrooms, but that's even lovely. if I was just really high, having a bunch of real high. Speaking of doing mushrooms in Cirque du Soleil, uh, much like they did in, in Knocked Up, Paul Rudd, please come on the podcast. Stop dodging me. Stop big timing me, Rudd. Get on the podcast. Hashtag All right, sorry. Rudd. Get in here, Polly. You piece of shit. <laughs> right. That's perfect, though. That's great. Excellent. I love yeah. all those things. I love it. That's and a then, great idea. Because also, in my mind, there's maybe... Uh, when you go in, there's maybe cocktails or something. And yeah. also there's like in the show or around, there's like some showgirls. So you see some leg, you get to see some, yeah. you get to see some. I what like I, what I really want is a weird French acrobat. That is what really blows well, my great. socks off. We've got it. Yeah, I love I it. Just, I, th- I like to see a couple butts in the night, you know? Yeah. You don't have to be like sitting. The thing about a strip club is you have been once. And the thing about it is sucks. you got to sit down next to all these other crappy people. Yeah. And a lot of the dudes, like... And it also depends on where you are because some people are being respectful and some people are being like real annoying and too shitty. Drunk. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, even if they're too drunk, they can still be chill. Like I, I will say the last time I went, there was a group of Mexican men that was hammered, but they were very respectful and they were getting the shit danced out of them. There you and go. then there's one white man who wasn't even fucking tipping them who kept being like, come over here, come over here, come over you here. Have to give like, them, you have to put money out. For, yeah, which is the to, one to, thing yeah. everyone knows about strip clubs. Totally. Yeah. Anyway, so it's not like a cool social um, experience, which sounds like not relaxing, right? It's not. I don't find it relaxing. It's not like no. a chill hang. But if in the course 
of this show. There's yeah. also some showgirls who look great. That's nice. It's like they're part of the show. I appreciate yeah. their, you know, dancing or whatever tricks they're doing or whatever. I like to see a hot lady. I like her. To, and then she introduces the tiger or whatever the fuck, <laughs> right? <laughs> Have you ever seen any Cirque du Soleil stuff? I did once. So when I was way too young to appreciate it, now I would love to go. I, I, I would love to see it. But my dad, my dad took me, well, the last time we went to Florida, I would have been eight years old, took me to Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> Horrified me. Scared the shit out of me. Do you know what it was that scared you? Uh, I It was just the tone of everything. It's a, I was going to say it is it a was, spooky. Honestly, it was the tone. Ethereal, yeah. eerie vibe. Yes, yes. For a child. Yes, it's very dark. And there's not like any danger. There's just like a guy walking like sneakily. And it's it, it, was, like on it a rope. scared me a lot. Yeah, you see a lot of definition in men's butts too. Oh, yes. Yes, you do. Yes, mm -hmm. you do. And I was also scared by the flipping. Ooh, the flipping. The flipping. It really got to me. That's too many flips. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, your feet belong on the ground. It's too many flips. Uh, all right. All right. Okay, so mushrooms, uh, Cirque du Soleil, and then... Mm, blowing stuff up. Yeah, blowing stuff up, mushrooms, Cirque du Soleil. Then I'm trying to think about... That's, just, that's, that's a full bachelor party to me. Yeah. That's a fucking full That's plate. Good. That's great. That's great stuff. We, then, have, we have some other stuff to ask you. Okay. Just stop. You have a luxury way to go. And then so you and then and then they give you a robe and slippers and you get to change into your jammies and then get in a limo. And there's like oh. there's like um nighttime snacks. So whatever you prefer, if you like cheeses, if you like MMs, if you want but if you want some water so that you won't feel bad later, yeah. or if you want some liquor, whatever. But so yeah. you they give you jammies so you that you're comfy and you're luxurious, yeah. and then you get in a limo and then you're and then you're good. That's great. Yes. I like that. Okay, I like great. that a lot. That's a that sounds like a lovely night. That sounds like a great night. Blowing stuff up would be good. Oh my god! So there's a right? place not far from my apartment in River North. I don't know if it's still there, but it, it was a destruction room. It was this oh. company that it was a company that had uh, they had an escape room and then they had another room. They're like, ah, we're tired of figure. We're oh, tired of coming up with I riddles. I've heard of this. Ah, riddles suck. You know what doesn't suck? Hitting shit with a fucking <laughs> sledgehammer. I mean, it's and Chicago. So they like, they're right. A hundred percent. Chicago. So. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> escape from a murderer. No, thank you. Well, I'll take thank his you. nose off with a baseball bat. I slammed a nail into this bitch, and you know, buddy, I'll be back in time for sausages. That I gotta be on the line tomorrow. I'm hey. doing some overnight construction. Yeah, I heard Teddy went down there too. I did destruction room he threw at his back and he fucking sued him he's gonna get like he's gonna get like 40 grand it's pretty sweet pretty you know, sweet Sam deal went over there pretty with sweet his fucking deal with his wife and now he is single yeah <laughs> yeah uh she didn't take too kindly to him hitting her in the ass with a baseball bat <laughs> so he hey, switched to figures. a ping pong pal. that's friggin that's fucking uh it's that's dames for you know yeah, what i'm saying anyway that's her. uh <laughs> what Songs will you tell the DJ to not play at the reception of the wedding? To not play. Oh, man. Black Eyed Peas. None. None Black Eyed Peas. None Black okay. Eyed Peas. I don't like them. Uh, uh, shouts to Ken at the Joke Joint for using that as their oh intro God. song for way the fuck too long. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. Yeah. And run in, run in, run in. <laughs> Just okay, look, now you want to hear comedy at this uh, at, melting haunted house of whores? Yeah, just, like what? Just looking at all these very button up St. Paul people just be like, what the fuck are they fucking But it's doing? like 17 yeah. like old people who had too much whiskey at the Moose Lodge or whatever the fuck. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's a club we work. Anyway. So I, I, I love it there. But yeah, uh, but it's quite a thing. It is a thing for sure. Quite a thing. So uh, yeah, no black eyed no peas. No black eyed peas. I'm very into that. Hate that. Um. No Pokemon theme song. I've okay. seen that played at weddings. Mm hmm. First song. Really? First song. Yeah. Um, you know what? I feel like maybe throw some musicals in there because you sound like maybe you have a favorite song. Mal loves musicals too. Mal right. loves shows. That'd tunes. be dope. So, yeah. yes, those. So, uh, yeah. let's see. Is there anything else? Um, I mean, the overtly sexual ones, of course. I'm, tr I'm trying to think <laughs> a like, oh boy. What's a, like, have you ever seen a good, not, weird daddy daughter dance at a wedding i was just oh man i mean i like it when they choreograph them because then they're that's, not touching that's pretty cool <laughs> i'm a big fan of that yeah yeah and it's fun it's lighthearted. it's like they got to do an activity together you can see they bonded about it and they're yeah. excited you know um i guess it's not as classy but it's cute i don't honestly though maybe it's just because i don't have 
a dad, but yeah. I just think it's kind of creepy when people do the dance part. It is, yeah. <laughs> right? I, it never feels, I, I, it's. Also, we're cutting the garter never gets, because that's the creepiest never get, part of a wedding. It never gets to me. Oh, the, well, I haven't seen the garter happen in years. Thank it's God. So I saw long. it recently and it's the worst. Oh, it's it's so the cu- creepiest. Creepy. It's you look very creepy. all of her male relatives in the eye and you say, let me take her yeah, virginity in a her symbolic, literal thing. way right yeah. now. But it's like saying, hey, I'm going to have sex with her. Now I own her because you gave her to me. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Well, like so creepy. It's something we've talked about a little here. Like the actual concept of a wedding is a little it's weird and outdated, but I get it. And I yeah. love I love the ceremony you of just it. Gotta- I love the pomp and circumstance. Mm. And I do love the idea that like everybody who's gotten married did this thing. Like it's kind of like mm-hmm. almost a rite of passage. Which yeah, like tradition. Like, yeah. Tradition. <laughs> the next thing we do mm-hmm. is I got I got I got family. You've got family. You're a talker. My family doesn't shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. So I guess they're also talkers. Mm-hmm. You're gonna you're gonna meet some you're gonna meet some relatives. Mm-hmm. You're gonna meet some tangential, fringy O'Keefe Ponkies. My mom's main name is Ponky. It's a horrible name. I uh, love it. Do you? Do you? Yeah, it's I'm having fine. fun with it. <laughs> My mom's main name is Wilcox. Ooh. So uh, let me set the scene. You, you're waiting to get you're waiting to get a beverage. Uh, a ginger ale for yourself or whatever. Uh, Indeed. <laughs> we don't know. It's the future. Maybe it's, I'm off the wagon. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Usually I have ginger beer, but ginger beer. Yeah, delicious. It. Re- I love the way that feels in my chest. Exactly. That's it makes why I drink me feel it. Like a man. Because I need something that burns enough to make yeah. me feel alive. Yeah. Because I quit. I quit smoking cigarettes. I quit. Oh, wow. miss the whiskey. You know, I sip yeah. people's whiskey. Do you really? I do. First time I ever did it, did it, Kyle Scanlon, and I did it without thinking about it. I just, I just grabbed his glass and it's almost, and then I went, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry. This is really weird. Can I smell your drink?" And he was like, "Yeah, why? And yep. Why do I do that? Why do you do that? And I smelled it, and I was like, "Ah, thank you." And I handed it back. But anyway, yeah, ginger beer is good. Yeah. So I'm standing in line for a beverage, and then and then uh, someone comes, hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? Get out of here. I'm <laughs> kicking you out of this wedding. Ah, yeah. I, I've got more stuff to blow up in the back. Why are so. you, <laughs> you blowing this hey, up? I'm flipping you, you off. I can't say it because it's a podcast. I'm flipping you off, motherfucker. <laughs> you what bear? is your name? Would you like to watch me explode a video game console? You bear? <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't want to do that. I don't, I like, I don't play video games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like playing them. Yes. Yeah. What's your favorite video game? Is it the same one as mine, Frogger? Yes. <laughs> like Frogger? That's like the only one I know how to play. Yeah. That's the only one I played as a child. I didn't oh, have video Frog- games. You play with video games, child? You no. just play Frogger? Yeah, Frogger. What kind of Frogger system? Let's no. What? Nah. No, 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 no. Well, I tell you what. <laughs> I tell you what. I didn't I'll have. Tell vi- you what? I didn't have video games until I became independently wealthy. <laughs> <laughs> See, I am an oil baron. I can see that from your ascot. Yes, I, it is an ascot. And you can also tell I'm an oil baron because patent on my ascot is the, the logo of the now defunct Houston oil of football team. Mm, yeah, I thought yeah. you just were a, were a fan. No. <laughs> Indeed. They're not a team anymore. I'm going to be a fan well, of something. Well, you're pretty old. I, I figured you may not know. Yeah, I can't actively root for a team that doesn't fucking play games. Well, I don't know. Maybe yeah, you have them on. somewhere. Well, are you probably, you're probably a Washington Generals fan. The team that always loses to Harlem Globetrotters. You, that's kind of stupid shit. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of this and I'm tired of you. And, but I'm an oil baron, so I have, mm-hmm, I'm, I, have mm-hmm. I have upwards of dozens of hundreds of dollars. <laughs> So here's here's a hundred dollars to shut it, <laughs> and then I hand you a used diaper, <laughs> <laughs> and I say thank you, my liege. <laughs> and and, uh, take you, my you, liege. You're very <laughs> also, I'm excited that I've discovered that I could do a third voice. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a find! This r- r- oh, I, it's kind of Cajun, but it's not really. Yeah. It's more of a Texas oil magnate, you know. Okay, wait. Here, let me respond. I'll respond. Ready? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Here, you. Okay, you say first. Let you say hello to me in your voice. Well, hello, madam. How are you on this fine evening <laughs> as we celebrate the matrimony of Michael Sean Patrick O'Keefe and a Jewish lady? <laughs> <laughs> well, I am good. Listen, I'm good, and that I 
Irish son of a bitch. I, if I do not think that he is just having a wedding, you know? Well, we go to a lot of eyes wide shut esque, <laughs> but I like having intercourse with many different partners, mm. all wearing different kind of bird masks. Mm. That is what I now, like. Have you There's ever nothing seen I find it? sexier than a hot. <laughs> Finch. I like a you ever good see a pelican. Fucking sexy fucking blue jay. You ever see a goddamn Oriole that makes you want to explode salted jelly in your pants? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm out of here. This is blame. <laughs> All right. I'll come with you. All right. Oh, cool. I've got a crow in the back room you could check out. You might be able to take it home with you. Hell yeah. All right, so the way that I'm going to defuse this situation, yeah, just to clarify, <laughs> just to clarify, is that I'm going to now obviously take this oil magnate to a, a key party. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, so but I'm ready to but, lay down my life for but, you. <laughs> but do you go into the key party too, or you just push him in? Lock it. I guess, well, I think honestly he'll get there and his eyes will light up. He'll see a, a, a nice... Oh, heavens, a nice tea party. A cardinal. <laughs> Oh, red-breasted. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Golden-breasted. I was a new... I like the breasted ones. <laughs> That's I was, me. I was in this country's armpit recently, a little town called New York City, mm -hmm. and the only birds they have there is pigeon. Pigeon is not a fact. The pigeons are the Rosie O'Donnell of the bird kingdom. I ain't going to fuck Rosie O'Donnell. Mostly because she wouldn't want to have sex with me. I'm a man and she is a lesbian. She's got a nice craft room, though. She, she really she, big into the crafts. Does yeah. she like Doesn't craft? she have like an island and then she has like a craft room on the island, I oh. think? Something like that. But yeah, you, Good you for don't. Her. I, so I'd fuck her probably because she's got a lot of yarn and stuff. I'd, I'd love that. I, uh, of the, I, I, there's probably five people I'd, I think I'd love to have dinner with and would uh, like enter a contest after. I, and she's one of them. Did her career watch, is fascinating to me. It really is. Did you watch her uh, her thing on Curb? What do you Weird call it? Talk show variety. When she had it. Oh, the talk show. Yeah, it was I used on to watch TV. it all the time, like as a kid. It was on TV when I would come I home. I loved her. Yeah. yeah, it would be. I would flip between uh, '90s SNL and Kids in the Hall mm -hmm. would be back to back on Comedy mm -hmm. Central, and then that would be a little bit further earlier in the dial. Should I have Rosie O'Donnell on my podcast then? If you can get her. All right. Shout out to Rosie O'Donnell. Shout out to Rosie. She listens to I'm coming to, to your craft yeah. island. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron, the producer, confirms that, this craft island is really nice. Right? It's like a yeah. dream. That's my dream is to have my own island. Nobody leave, Nobody talks to me and I just like go in there and make paintings and shit. It's awesome. Like, yeah, whatever. Okay. It's awesome. So I forgot what we were talking about. The bird fucking? Something. We, you did, we, we were transitioning. You did, yeah, well, I mean, we you were in the middle of it. Okay. Yep. Transitioning. And then, I, wow. and then I brought up that I have five... Uh, Five people I want to eat dinner with. Mm -hmm. She's one of them. Mm -hmm. I would love to have dinner with uh, Br President Barack Obama of America. Mm -hmm. I would love to have dinner with Snoop Dogg. Obviously. Yeah. Do you have to address him as lion or did he go back to dog? He's dog again. Yeah. Now, I, what I love, what I, my, yeah. here's what I like about Snoop Dogg is that he is now a youth football coach, which yes. is amazing. Yes. And also, he has my favorite line in the history of coaching football. Uh -huh. He's on a show, uh, a kid runs a route wrong or whatever, and he just goes, don't you even play Madden? And I think that's amazing. That's, that's exactly what football coaches great. should be yelling at these kids at this point. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, but like, yeah. yes, that's how else are they going to understand plays? That's how they see it in their totally. brain. Yeah, that's how they get the little... Thing. I will tell you, I think I've talked about this before, but my stepdad's greatest dream for me is that I get famous enough that he meets Snoop Dogg. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm not involved, but it's like he goes and hangs out at his mansion with Snoop yeah. Lion and they, yeah. they they smoke some fat doobies. Yeah. Like that's his industry dream for me <laughs> is that he meets that's Snoop Dogg. Oh, uh, that's amazing. And and Regis Philbin is the other one. Interesting. Uh, I, what? Lo I love Regis Philbin. Really? <laughs> what do yeah. you love about him? I love his uh, energy. What? Okay. I love him. He's like this and he's very excited. And he's that is, that is fun. How old is he now? He's probably 800 years old. Yeah. <laughs> he is like Gandalf the Grey. Would you uh, meet him and say, I would like to be a millionaire? Uh, and then he says, I can't help you with I can't that. Help. I don't have the. <laughs> it wasn't my money. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help you. I can't help you. That's not what he sounds like. Uh, no, I just like, he's just like this. He. he 
He does it for you. Yeah, he was just like a broadcaster and he sang on, in like Vegas for many years. And he was just like, I I do this job. I hang out with my wife. I watch Notre Dame football. I'm a, I'm a regular guy. But he yeah. is on, He's just a prof- yeah. showman. He's just a sh- he's. They don't make him like that anymore. Yeah. Like that job doesn't exist. I guess Seacrest kind of has it, but not really. Nah, he's yeah. different though. Would you be, but like a showman, it's like, um, God, I, that reminded me of something. Would you do, I feel like I would be a showman. I'll be a showman. Are you offering me me uh, the position of showman? <laughs> okay, cool. I, I sign the uh, letter of intent immediately. Here's your ask. <laughs> Thank you. I yes, you dropped it. Oh, my ass got back. <laughs> Ooh, what a show. Oh, what a show. <laughs> Fucking birds. All right. So before we, I ask you to do the last thing, there's two things we have to do very quickly. Uh, we have to do, the, of course, the famous a, uh, ASMR minute. We, where we talk like this. It's been a very um, loud episode. I've gotten the tangles from it. So let's, uh, here's, yeah, a little bit of this. Is it weird that I'm making eye contact with Aaron? That's this is probably Aaron's least favorite part of the show, and I don't fucking care. <laughs> I, I love it. I love that oh, there's a shit. point in the show where we just go. Okay, those are the ASMR minute. Thank you so much. Uh, Those are weekly tinkles. You're welcome. Maybe I should use that as a calm down method. It's not bad. Have you seen ASMR videos? Uh, Yeah, I know about them. Yeah, you're familiar. You know the dude I used to see in Minneapolis, who you know, you're a crazy man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fucked up dude, but uh, fucked up dude. Thank you. Yes, best friends forever. You and me. Um, Bonding about that. Anyway, he used to watch. Every night when he went to sleep, I guess he what he liked to watch to calm down. It was this video of a man teaching you how to tailor a suit. That's exactly what that's exactly ASMR. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. was really weird. Some people have that. Uh I got, I got it. I got it the other day. I was at a restaurant and the waiter said, in just a very nice, simple voice, uh, would you like our soup of the day in a cup? And just that way he said it was just yeah. like, ooh, hey. Now. <laughs> I get that sometimes when I'm uh, yeah. having an orgasm. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. A cup of soup. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 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 You just and blast it is off tomato and you're like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> talk about clam chowder. You We're know what I'm talking clam about? Clam it's chowder. seafood, buddy. Clam. It's thick. That's why it's creepy. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's hard to be appropriate in public. It is. Oh, also, I have to. I have to keep doing this. Hey, it's me, Bane. I'm, I'm bad. At it. <laughs> I'm Bane. Oh Gotham's yours. Oh, there it is. Gotham's like, yours. Wait, Do I had one. It. What was As it? As you wish. Oh, I'm Bane. Batman. I was born in the dark. You merely adopted it. The one I did sounded like fat bastard. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I feel like I had Get one, but now I haven't in seen him in a while. My belly. Batman. Well, there's a new. <laughs> There's a new thing coming out that Bane's in uh, on Fox, and it looks very bad. It oh. looks like a bad Bane. Shane West is playing. I don't know who that is. He's a he's too hot to play, to be Bane. Uh, he's too yeah. pretty to be Bane. Mm-hmm, Bane mm-hmm. is supposed to be hot. Tom you Hardy, very hot. Yeah, man. I feel you. Tom Hardy, he's got a, he's got a set of lips on him. You know what I mean? <laughs> is that what Bane sounds like? <laughs> yeah, it's more like that. I'm Bane. <laughs> I'm Bane. Batman. I have to wear this fucking mask because I chipped my tooth on an ice cream cookie sandwich at the movies. Those are very soft. They're fuck- no, they're fucking frozen. <laughs> frozen. <laughs> it's like eating a fucking hockey puck. That's why I blew up that football game. <laughs> I was mad. I get mad. <laughs> I couldn't even watch the rest of Train Spotting. I didn't even see the rest of Train Spotting. <laughs> And I wanted to see if heroin worked out for those boys. I wanted to see if it held up. I wanted to see if it held. It didn't hold up. And I I'll tell you what didn't hold up is my two front fucking teeth. <laughs> so after that, I planted bombs all over the all city. All over Gotham City. And planted them any which way, and I they exploded. And now that French lady. Still won't fuck me. It's bullshit. I gotta tell you, I'm into edging. <laughs> <laughs> My f- I love the music of Sting, and but only because he's edges. <laughs> I don't, it's, it's, it's bad music. 
but I love not coming, but also kind of maybe coming, but not coming. <laughs> also? I'll come, I'll come <laughs> when I'm good and ready, Bethany. <laughs> All right. Quit. You're always like, oh, just come, babe. Just come already. Give me that good salty jelly. Give me the sweet salty jelly. I'll do it when I'm good and ready, you bitch. <laughs> I come on her. I come on her tummy, and then I quote my favorite movie, The Sixth Sense. I go, I see dead people going to die. Now I have laid waste to the city <laughs> and to you. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm, ba- I'm thinking about doing some open mic. Should I go to open mic? <laughs> Hi. I'm Bane. I'm Bane. This is my first time here. <laughs> Isn't it weird that when you have sex, afterwards your penis is all like, what? <laughs> Man, I hate when my penis is all like, what? <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is the point. Lady, this has been a very fun chat. Uh, I'm, this is very enjoyable. It's, it's like we're back at the Vegas, uh, except there's no terrible renditions of... <laughs> That was a very deep songbook. I sang, they had like rancid and they're crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> uh, but it's time to, for you to do the best band speech at my wedding. Mm. Gonna be out. I'm very excited to hear you do this. We'll call in Greg, our Foley artist, the best Foley artist in the game. Okay. Jump, Greg. Just do it. <laughs> okay, here I go. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, we were here today to honor the wives of Mike O'Keefe and Mallory. That would be, what, is, what, a, what a statement you'd be making. These fucking millennials. We celebrate their contributions. Okay. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, we are here today to honor the union of Mike O'Keefe and Mallory Bradford. It is as close as I've been to watching the movie Shrek in a long time. <laughs> Shut up, donkey. Uh, that that is what I call Mallory. <laughs> you asked me what I call pussy, I didn't want to tell you I call it donk. I call it donkey. Donkey? Donkey. <laughs> and just like Shrek, their lives together have been a fairy tale. Not without bumps in the road, not without pitchforks or torches. Full of love, Full of magic and full of enchantment. I can honestly say today that this wedding is the best that Mike could do. (laughs) All the best to Mallory and to Mike. Good luck. Thank you. What a speech. What a great speech. Meandering at times and other times far too formal. Almost like you, <laughs> almost like you downloaded. You almost like you Googled well, to things to say at weddings. Or I didn't. I obviously yeah, did not prepare yeah. in the least. I was trying to get back into the vibe of being like somewhere along the lines of what the speech is. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, how is it not a roast? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So yeah. like, oh, it's a roast every time. Th- every single best but you gotta, man speech. It's got to be a little bit goofy yeah, though. Yeah, it's so like, then it's like, but really, I love you and your crooked dick yeah. or whatever. <laughs> you know, whatever the thing is. Or maybe I guess you tell a cute story about the couple like one time. Yeah, they, it's a lot of that. But the 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 greatest uh, like roast happened <laughs> uh, at one of these speeches over the weekend where <laughs> uh, <laughs> one of the guys just goes and Sam. Sam, uh, he eats a lot of protein. And by protein, <gasps> I mean boogers. That kid eats his boogers a lot. Yeah, that's <laughs> and good. everyone was just like, what? Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was like, it was like, it was like all of a sudden it went from being a rehearsal dinner to like a Def Jam comedy show. Oh my God, Amy. I thought you were going to, when you went the protein direction, I was oh, getting was concerned. Or something? Yes, <laughs> I thought it was going to be that sweet pants juice. <laughs> <laughs> the salt and jelly. <laughs> anyway, it's come time, as, as we as we all know, this is, a, this is an interview, essentially, mm. a job interview to be one of my groomsmen. So it's time for me to make my decision, my ruling. And uh, the answer is yes, show over. Nope, nope, it's not. Oh God, okay. The answer's not, listen. Okay, 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 sorry. Sorry, I got excited. Basically a swamp monster. You lady lillards. Indeed. You didn't make the cut. Not going to be one of the groomsmen. Can't do it. Mm. We didn't hear enough about this hot guy you're bedding. Bedding? Ooh, that's, that's what a good we term. We wanted to hear, we wanted like to hear the Lainey Leonard's gossip. Well, we got none of it. Well, that's not how you interview a groomsman. 
I will. Or a showsman. Well. Could I be a showsman then? A showman? We'll see. That'll be the bonus episode this week. Yeah, I could be a showman. Like I do magic in the lobby of your wedding or something. That's a real thing. At my best yeah, friend Justin's that's wedding. that's what I'm offering. Can you do magic? Do you know magic tricks? I can juggle. You can juggle? I can't do magic tricks, but I can juggle, yes. Oh, uh, we'll have you. And I know one to juggle. two juggling tricks. What is, okay. I I think that's great. It's like I can juggle and then I can do you're a in. little fancy shit. Okay, in. cool. And I'll wear a tux. I like the, I like the tuxedo because if you're... Well, that's only if I was a groomsman, I suppose. No, I like it because you can you're wear tux. A- it's black tie optional. I think life's black tie optional. <laughs> that's a bumper sticker that that's I'm going to sell after I, I do bomb often overdress. In the of nowhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lainey, yeah. thank you again so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you. What a what a what a nice fun time. And I got to tell you what my what you favorite tell me? bird is the Canadian goose. Thank you for. Telling, telling Sorry, me. I was just thinking about fucking birds. I was trying ah, to think of a tagline. Ah, but ah, I will say that's why ah, that's why the Minnesota loon makes that noise. Why? Because it's fun to fuck. <laughs> yeah. Because that bird can get it. Yeah. Know what I'm oh, that bird man. can motherfucker get it. It's got all those colors and shit. It's always like, oh, you know, like, <laughs> like plug, goofy plug what you need to plug. Goofy feathery ass. Well, thank you for having me, Mike. I appreciate You're it. You're very welcome. Excellent. We've had a great time. We've yelled over each other for most of it. So yep. people will be able to hear about 50% of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> and that is uh, 75% my doing, perhaps? 50-50. I've determined. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, check out. You know what you should do? You should rate Mike's show on iTunes. Give it five stars. Thank you. And also, yay. Thank you. I appreciate that. But what should they do for your show? Check out my show. It's called It's Laney. It's Laney. And uh, it's Laney. It's Laney. It's Laney. It's more of me. So (laughs) check that out. You can find me. Some unfiltered Leonard's coming at you. Oh, baby. It's. Slightly filtered <laughs> because <laughs> otherwise it is not appropriate even for the internet. <laughs> that sounded like Sam the Eagle from the Muppets. Thank you. <laughs> not important for the internet. Yeah, in Chicago, uh, I will be at the Love Below Comedy Show on November 15th, Backroom Comedy on November 16th. Uh, you can always sign up for my mailing list online and uh, you can... Find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter at Lainey Leonard's. That email list is fantastic. It's been such a help for us at Best Night Ever, and I'm I appreciate glad. you running it. Um, and I'm Mike O'Keefe. Rate and review the show. Throw us five stars. I don't care what the review says. Make it as dumb and stupid as you want. Uh, but just make it five stars. I love it. And if it's good enough, I'll read it on the show. How's that sound, you jerks? And yeah, every Monday night, G Man Tavern, Chicago, Illinois, 9 p.m. Uh, show me that you're you subscribe to the podcast on your phone, and I will buy you one unit of alcohol. Uh, yeah, it's really a great place for. It's a great way Are for me to maybe get murdered. <laughs> What's up? Are you guys always in that back? Room always now? in the back room. I love that room. That room's the back great. Room's good. It's love a dope it. show. You guys should check it out. Yeah, dude. It's so I'll much, come it's with a you. Fun time. Yeah, <laughs> we need to come. You'll come. I'll, I'll escort there. you there. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, thank you guys so much for listening. Lainey, thank you again for being here. You're the best. Thank you. Awesome. Good times. Uh, We'll see you next week. Till death do us fall.